bakers welcome back to another week of summer baking club um, I am here today with my assistant Catherine and we are here to make dirt pudding um, this is a really fun dessert that you can make really simple no baking really required um, so let's go over our ingredients so we have what will be our dirt our Oreos which I've gone ahead and I've put them in a Ziploc bag so that we can crush them like we did a couple cupcakes ago um, when we were looking to chop up the Oreos. Oh, Catherine's waving. Uh, we have some Cool Whip or some whip topping, whatever you can get in your store. I have chocolate pudding. I've got gummy worms. And I have two cups of cold milk. Really important that it's cold for the pudding. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, because my pudding needs to set for about five minutes, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that first. So I have a large mixing bowl. I'm going to dump out all of the pudding mix in here. Okay, and I'm gonna dump the two cups of milk into the pudding powder. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna whisk it together. This is a whisk, um, until we have no clumps or lumps in the pudding mixture. So basically what we have to do is make all of that powder dissolve with the milk. If you have a hand mixer at home, an electric one, you can certainly use that. You don't have to, you can use the old fashioned whisk. You want to make sure you get all the little clumps that are around the edge of the bowl as well. Mm. Catherine's never had pudding before, so this will be exciting for her. Right. <laughs> How big is Catherine? So big! <laughs> She's learned some new tricks over the summer. Okay, that is good. So we have a nice smooth pudding mixture in here. It's a little hard to show, um, but we don't have any clumps in there left. Okay, so we're gonna leave that aside for about five minutes to let it sit uh, and kind of firm up. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to my cookies now, my Oreos, and we have to crumble them up again. So if you have a food processor, you can put them in there and uh, put them on pulsate. But um, <clears throat> I don't have that readily available right now, so I'm going to just use a metal spoon from the kitchen. You can use your rolling pin if you have whatever makes crumbling up your cookies fine. Oh, also with the Oreos, you don't have to take the cookie apart. Uh, it doesn't matter if the cream is in there, it's just gonna taste good. Remember if you have your rolling pin, give it a couple smacks and then you can roll it out um, because it is dirt and dirt is not all the same uh, <laughs> we can uh, get some really fine crumbles of the Oreos or we can have some more chunky pieces but you want to make sure you get them all broken up and if you want instead of using this side you could use the handle side to help you Whatever makes it easy for you. And if you're one of our younger students, if you need help, always ask for help. What we're gonna do with the Oreos actually is put some in the pudding in a few minutes, and then we're also going to use it on top of our pudding to um, make it look like dirt. And then that's where we'll put the worms too. Sorry for the camera jumping up and down. If you want, you can fast forward to where it's done. <laughs> you want to see the cookies? Look, they're all crumbly cookies. Also, before you start breaking up your cookies, make sure that your uh, Ziploc bag is closed all the way. Otherwise, you'll have cookie crumbs flying all over the place. Okay. Catherine, what do you think? 
anything. What do you think? Is that crumbly enough? What do you think? Um, okay, so I'm checking in on my pudding and it is actually almost ready. It's just about at that really good pudding consistency. Just gonna give it another stir. You'll see that um, after a couple minutes, your pudding mix is actually not gonna be liquid anymore. It's gonna be that, um, like that texture that you get if you buy the little pre-made pudding cups. Oh, okay. So next step, I'm gonna give my little friend here a piece of cookie. Okay. There you go, my friend. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're going to um, take our Cool Whip and we're going to add it into our pudding mix. Uh, when you're using your Cool Whip, make sure that, sometimes people will keep it in the freezer, which is fine. Um, just make sure it kind of thaws out a little bit, otherwise it'll be really hard to mix in. I'm actually gonna take my whisk out of here. I'm gonna use a spoon instead. Okay, um, and also what we're going to add to our mixture is the um, Oreos. We're only going to use about half of them of what's in our bag. So once I get this Cool Whip mixed in, we'll start adding some Oreos to it. You'll see that the color is starting to lighten up um, because of the white Cool Whip. If you remember from Mrs. Bellow's art classes, when you add white to a color, it lightens it, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and add about half of my Oreos into our pudding mixture. You looking for more cookie? go cookie there you go okay all right so we're gonna start adding some of those in and again there's no right or wrong way with the size of your Oreos that you've broken up because dirt comes in all sizes I'm gonna add a little bit more And I'm gonna save the other half for the top. Okay, so we've now got our mixture of pudding, the two cups of cold milk. We let that sit for five minutes so that it would get a little bit firmer. We added our Cool Whip to thicken it up again and we added about half of our Oreos. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is start filling up some cups that we'll serve our pudding from. So I just have these little plastic cups. You can use whatever you like. I like the clear cups because then it, you can really kind of see what's going on with the dirt. Okay. So I've got most of my cup filled up. If you notice, I left a little bit empty up top. What I'm gonna do is take some of my gummy worms. You can put however many you want in there. And I'm gonna lay them on top of my dirt pudding. Okay, I'm gonna put one more in. That's a gummy worm. You've never seen those before. And then, I'm gonna go ahead, I actually wanna make these a little bit finer. They're a little thick right now. My cookie crumbs, there you go. And you're gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of your cup with the remaining Oreos. Okay. 
Okay, and you wanna put your Oreos so that you don't see any of the pudding mixture up top. So there we go, we've got our dirt pudding. Again, you can put however many worms you want on there. They don't have to be sunken into your cup. You can lay them on top too. You can make your Oreos super squished, super crushed up and put them on there. Um, some people like to put another layer of Oreos, maybe like in the middle, so they'll put a little bit of the pudding mixture, a layer of Oreos, and then another layer of the pudding up top, but it's totally up to you and what you like. I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple more. Is that a good cookie? That's a good cookie, huh? <laughs> Catherine's first Oreo, too. Mm. Yeah. I haven't had gummy worms since I was a little kid. Okay, so I have my worms in there. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the rest of my cup with some Oreos. Now you could do a similar um, dessert too. Ta-da! You can do a similar dessert too with uh, vanilla pudding or banana pudding is really good. Um, you do it the same way with your milk and the Cool Whip. And instead of using the chocolate Oreos, you use the golden Oreos and you can make what uh, looks like sand. If you have a beach bucket, a sand bucket, you can fill it up with the whole bowl of the pudding mix, the vanilla pudding mix, and then you can um, add onto it the uh, crumbled up golden Oreos, or you could even use graham crackers to look like sand, uh, and it's a really fun dessert for the summertime. Make sure after you have all of your cups set or bowls, however you're going to serve it, Make sure you pop them into the refrigerator until it's time to serve them because you want to serve them cold. Um, and that's it, a pretty simple dessert. So we're going to give this a try here. We'll see what Catherine thinks about chocolate pudding. Let's see. Catherine, you want to try some? Try some? What do you think? Is that good? Is that mmm? What do you think? A little bit more? Here you go. Oh, you gotta let go of the spoon, silly. There we go. All right, my friends, make sure you take some pictures, send them to Miss Hurst and myself, and we will see you next time. Have a great week, everybody. Bye. Catherine, wait, bye. Can you wait, bye, bye? <laughs>